Good day everyone, I'm your teacher Georgie and I will discuss to you the week 3 of Gated Mathematics Module. Week 3 is all about operation on rational algebraic expression in solving problems involving rational algebraic expression. After going through this module, you are expected to perform operation on rational algebraic expression and solving problems involving rational algebraic expression. Remember that adding or subtracting fractions can be done easily if the fractions are similar. Otherwise, you have to make the fraction similar by finding its equivalent fractions. Rules apply also to rational algebraic expressions. However, you have to recall also the rules in adding algebraic expression in which only similar terms of algebraic expression can be added or subtracted terms with the same literal coefficient are similar. Let us try learning task number 1. Add or subtract the following. Example number 1. 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8. Wala kayong ibang gagawin. Just copy the denominator 8 and add the numerator. So, 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8 is equal to 3 plus 5, 8. Copy denominator 8. Magiging 8 over 8. Then, divide 8 over 8 is equal to 1. So, that is the final answer. Example number 2. 5 over 8 minus 1 over 6. Kapag magkaibang denominator, ipagmumultiply mo ito sa 8 times 6. So, magiging 48. Yun ang magiging denominator mo. Sa numerator naman, ito ay magiging 48 divided by 8 is 6 times 5 is 30. Minus 48 divided by 6 is equal to 8 times 1 is 8. So, 30 minus 8 is equal to 22. Yan ang magiging numerator. So, the final answer is 22 over 48. After that, we will find the lowest term. Ang gagawin natin para mahanap ang lowest term, mag-iisip ka ng number na pwede i-divide sa numerator and denominator. So, yan ay ang 2. So, the final answer is 11 over 24. Bakit? 22 divided by 2 is 11, 48 divided by 2 is 24. Number 3, example, 3x plus 5x minus x plus 7. Kapag ganito ang nakita mo, perform the operation ng pare-pareho ang variable. So, 3x plus 5x is equal to 8x minus x equals to 7x, then copy positive 7. So, the final answer is, 7x plus 7. To add or subtract rational algebraic expression, you must always check the denominator. In adding or subtracting rational algebraic with common denominator, simply add the numerators and copy the denominator. Always reduce your answer to E simply as form. Example number 1. Find the sum of 3 over 6b and 1 over 6b in lowest term. 3 over 6b plus 1 over 6b, copy the denominator 6b, then add the numerator. So the answer is 3 plus 1 is 4 over 6b. Find the lowest term both numerator and denominator. So we will divide it by 2. So the answer is 2 over 3b. Example number 2. Add x over x squared minus 4 and 2 times over x squared minus 4. Check the denominator, then perform the operation. The de denominator are the same. Let's add the numerators and copy the denominator. So, x over x squared minus 4 plus 2 x squared minus 4 is equal to x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. Since the denominator is the difference of 2 squared, then it's factorable. So, the factor of x squared minus 4 is equal to x plus 2 times x minus 2. 
Then, after mo ma-factor it out, cancel the same numerator and denominator, which is x plus 2. So, the final answer is 1 over x plus 2. Example number 3. Simplify negative 2x plus 1 over x squared minus 4 minus negative 3x minus 1 over x squared minus 4. They have the same denominator, thus you only need to copy its denominator. So that is x squared minus 4. Then, perform the operation in the numerator. Negative 2x plus 1 plus 3x plus 1 over x squared minus 4. Bakit pa naging addition na? Because negative times negative is positive. Negative times negative 3x is equal to positive 3x. Negative times minus 1 is equal to positive 1. So, ang numerator niya ay magiging negative 2x plus 1 plus 3x plus 1 over x squared minus 4. Pagsamahin mo ang pareho ang variable at number. So, negative 2x plus 3x plus 1 plus 1. Negative 2x plus 3x is equal to x. Unlike sign, automatic magsasubtract. Then, copy the variable. So, that is x. Plus, 1 plus 1 equals to 2. So, the answer is x plus 2 over x squared minus 4. Kung mapapansin natin, factorable pa ang denominator. So, x squared minus 4 is equivalent to x plus 2 times x minus 2. Then, cancel again the same numerator and denominator that is x plus 2. Ang natira na lang ay 1 over x minus 2. That is the final answer. When two fractions are multiplied, we multiply the numerators of the fractions to form the new numerator and we do the same for the denominator. This is the same with rational algebraic expressions. If there are common factors in both numerator and denominator, if the two rational algebraic expressions, then we may cancel them before we multiply. Example number 1, 2s over 4k times 3 over 2k squared. So, ang una natin gagawin, ikakancel muna natin ang pareho ang numerator and denominator, which is 2. So, the ang natira na lang ay s times 3, that is 3s. 4k times k squared is equivalent to 4k cubed. So, the final answer is 3s over 4k cubed. In division of rational algebraic expression, follow this rule. P over Q divided by R over S is equivalent to P over Q times S over R, where P, Q, R, and S are polynomials in one variable and Q is not equal to 0, R is not equal to 0, and S is not equal to 0. Let us try this example m over 2 divided by m minus 2 over m minus 1. First thing to do, get the reciprocal of m minus 2 over m minus 1. Second, rewrite the equation and change the operation to multiplication. So, m over 2, pagbabalik na rin na natin, times m minus 1 over m minus 2. Third, find the product of the given expression. So, m over 2 times m minus 1 over m minus 2. So, ang magiging sagot niya ay m times m minus 1 over 2 m minus 2. So, that is the final answer. Since there is no common factors between the numerator and denominator, the product is already in its lowest term. Another example, k squared minus 25 over k plus 5 divided by k minus 5 over k squared plus 6k plus 5. First, get the reciprocal of the divisor. k minus 5 over k squared plus 6k plus 5 ay magiging k squared plus 6k plus 5 over k minus 5. Then after that, write as multiplication and factor expressions that are factorable. 
unahin natin i-factor ang k squared minus 25. So, ang factor niya is k minus 5 times k plus 5. Then, after that, i-factor naman natin ang k squared plus 6k plus 5. Ang factor niya ay k plus 1 times k plus 5. So, isulat na natin siya. k minus 5 times k plus 5 over k plus 5. Multiply mo siya sa k plus 1 times k plus 5 over k minus 5. So, bago natin siya multiply, ka-cancel muna natin ang common factors between numerator and denominator. So, cancel natin ang k minus 5, i-cancel din natin ang k plus 5. So, ang natira na lang, k plus 1 times k plus 5. So, k plus 1 times k plus 5 is equivalent to k squared plus 6a plus 5. To be able to solve a problem involving rational algebraic expressions, you have to make a rational equations. To make rational equations, you must translate a word problem into mathematical sentence. Example, 7 divided by the sum of a number and 2 is equal to half the difference of the number and 3. Find all such numbers. Letter A. Find what is asked find the numbers. Letter B, write all the given. So, 7 over x plus 2, then x minus 3 over 2. Letter C, write the operation to be used in the equation to work on. 7 over x plus 2, then x minus 3 over 2. Write the solution. Letter D, apply cross multiplication. So, x plus 2 times x minus 3 equals 7 times 2 then equals 7 times 2 is 14 x plus 2 times x minus 3 is equivalent to x times x x squared x times negative 3 is negative 3x 2 times x is 2x positive 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 so ililipat natin ang 14 para makasama ng ibang uh, numbers. So, from positive, magiging negative 14. So, x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 minus 14. So, the final answer is, uh, copy x squared, negative 3x plus 2x is negative x, negative 6 minus 14, that is negative 20. And after that, factor it out the x squared minus x minus 20. So, that is x minus 5 times x plus 4. So, para ma-find natin yung number na hinahanap natin, x minus 5 equals to 0. Ito transpose natin yung negative 5, magiging positive. x plus 4 equals to 0. Pag nilipat natin siya sa kabila, magiging negative 4. Write the final answer. If x equals to 5, the number is 1. If x equals to negative 4, the number is also 1. So, paano nangyari ito? Substitute the value of x equals to 5 and x equals to negative 4. So, 7 over x plus 2 divided by x minus 3 over 2. So, papasok dito ang reciprocal. 7 over x plus 2 times 2 over x minus 3. Substitute the value of x equals to 5. So, 7 times 2, then 5 plus 2 times 5 minus 3. 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 minus 3 is 2. So, the answer is 14 over 14 or 1. Letter B, substitute the value of negative 4. 7 over x plus 2 times 2 over x minus 3 is equivalent to 7 times 2 over negative 4 plus 2 times negative 4 minus 3. So, 7 times 2 is 14. Negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Negative 4 minus 3 is negative 7. So, copy the numerator 14. Negative 2 times negative 7 is positive 14. So, 14 divided by 14 is equivalent to 1. Okay, congratulations. Handang-handang sa pagsagot ng mga learning tasks. Enjoy learning!